hello there students welcome back to another video lesson so this will be our uh, second quarter lessons in Greek and mathematics so for the first two weeks of our uh, video lessons ang pag-aaralan po natin is polynomial functions and then the rest puro uh, topics on circles na so for the first week of our lesson we'll have illustrating polynomial functions. So, nai-discuss na po sa inyo yung polynomials and then yung operations on polynomials, specifically yung division of polynomials and then yung polynomial equations last quarter. So, ngayon ang pag-uusapan natin is yung polynomial functions. So, dito, makikita nyo po kung paano ginagrap yung polynomial functions. So, let's start. So, for our lesson objectives, we will differentiate a polynomial function from a polynomial equation. So, para hindi kayo malito kung anong pinagkaiba ng polynomial functions at polynomial equation, i-discuss ko po yan. Next, define a polynomial function. Classify polynomial functions and non-polynomial functions. So, i-discuss ko sa inyo yung mga uh, ways o paraan para malaman kung polynomial function ba yung given or non-polynomial function. And then finally, we will write polynomial functions in standard form. So kung paano natin sinusulat yung polynomial in standard form, ganun din po ang gagawin natin sa pagsulat ng polynomial functions in standard form. So, let's have polynomial equation versus polynomial function. So, para mas malaman nyo kung ano nga ba ang difference ng dalawa na yan, consider the examples below. So, the first example, we have 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 3x minus 7 is equal to 0. And then, f of x is equal to 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 3x minus 7. So, the difference between the two examples is that when you equate a function to 0, the result is a polynomial equation. So, yung una po nating equation, ito po, is a polynomial equation. And then, yung pangalawa naman is a polynomial function. So, kapag yung pangalawang given natin, yung may f of x na yan, pinalitan ko po yan ng 0, that is a polynomial equation. So, yan lang po yung difference between the two, uh, polynomial equation and polynomial function. So, let's now move on to polynomial functions. A polynomial function is a function which mainly involves positive or non-negative powers only. So, kagaya din ng polynomial, of course, kailangan po yung mga powers or exponents ng bawat term ng given polynomial ay positive. Hindi po pwede yung negative, hindi rin po pwede yung fraction o kaya naman decimal. The function is written as p of x is equal to a sub n x raised to n plus a sub n minus 1 x raised to n minus 1 up to plus a sub 0 where a sub n should not be equal to 0 where n is a positive or non-negative integer. So, kagaya ng definition ng polynomial function, kailangan po yung n, yung power, ay positive. Hindi po dapat negative. a sub 0, a sub 1, up to a sub n, are real numbers which are considered as coefficients. So, yung mga nakikita nyo pong a sub 0, a sub 1, a sub n, up to a sub n, real numbers po yan na considered as coefficients, numerical coefficients. It could be positive or negative. And then, a sub n x raised to n is the leading term. So, leading term sa po yung nauuna. And then, from the leading term, makukuha natin yung leading coefficient which is a sub n. And then finally, a sub 0 is the constant term. So, constant term, ito po yung walang variable. A polynomial function may also be written using f of x or y. A polynomial function is sometimes represented by a set of p ordered pairs x, y. 
So, yung polynomial function, pwede po natin siyang isulat using f of x, function of x, o kaya naman y. So, either of the two, considered po yun as function. That is, f of x is equal to x cubed minus 5x squared minus 3, and y is equal to negative x cubed plus x squared minus 6x plus 1 are both polynomial functions. So, alin man ang gamitin natin, f of x or y, considered po sila as polynomial functions, uh, considering na kailangan yung mga uh, powers ng bawat terms ng given function ay non-negative, puro positive dapat. Key terms on polynomial functions. So, ito yung mga important terms na kailangan yung tandaan sa polynomial functions na uh, sa tingin ko, familiar na sa inyo dahil na i-discuss na dun sa polynomials. Consider the example below. f of x is equal to 2x cubed minus 7x squared minus 5x plus 12. So, ito yung gagamitin nating example para mas ma-discuss ko sa inyo ng mabuti yung mga terms na sinasabi ko sa inyo. Coefficients are classified into two types, namely numerical and literal. So, kapag numerical, yung mismong number. And then, literal coefficients naman, yung mga variables. Numerical coefficients are constant numbers multiplied to variables or letters called literal coefficients. Numerical, ah, number. Literal yung mga variables, yung mga letters. So, the leading term is the term that contains the highest power of x. So, kaya nga leading term, leading na uuna. So, siya po yung term na nasa una. And then, pinakamataas yung power niya. Okay, yung exponent. Based from the example, 2x cubed is the leading term. So, since yung ating uh, leading term po dito yung nauuna, 2x cubed, so, yun po yung leading term. Provided na dapat yung given function natin is nakasulat sa standard form. So, after natin discuss yung leading term, let's have leading coefficient. Leading coefficient is basically the numerical coefficient of the leading term. So, kapag na-identify na po natin yung leading term dun sa given function or given polynomial, so, it would be easy for us to identify the leading coefficient. So, hanggat hindi natin na-identify yung leading term, hindi rin natin ma-identify yung leading coefficient. Nandaan, it doesn't mean na nauna yung term doon, yun ang leading term. So, kailangan pa rin nating kunin yung highest power of x. Or, simply, write the given polynomial or polynomial function in standard form. So, in short, 2 is the leading coefficient. Since, the leading term is 2x cubed, ayan. So, yung leading coefficient natin, yung numerical coefficient ng 2x cubed, which is 2. Yung x po kasi is yung literal coefficient. Kapag coefficient po kasi, nagpe-pertain siya sa numerical coefficient. Lastly, the degree of the polynomial function is simply the highest powers among the terms of x. So, kapag tinanong tayo or tinanong kayo kung ano ang degree ng given polynomial function, kunin lang natin, tingnan lang natin yung pinakamataas na powers or exponents sa mga terms ng uh, polynomial function. Looking at the degree of the given polynomial function, 3 is the highest. So, ayan. Mga exponents, 3, 2, and then tong x, 1, yung 12, yung constant term natin, 0. So, therefore, 3 is the degree of the polynomial function. So, etong given function natin is an example of cubic function. Kasi, yung highest degree niya or highest power niya is 3. So, let's have polynomial and non-polynomial functions. Unfortunately, not all functions are considered as functions. So, hindi lahat po ng given functions is classified po as functions. Meron po tayong tinatawag na non-polynomial functions. Here are some points to remember in classifying polynomial and non-polynomial functions. So, ito yung mga dapat yung tandaan para ma-classify nyo yung given kung polynomial function ba siya or polynomial 
non-polynomial function or kung pinapa-identify sa inyo kung polynomial ba or hindi. So, yung una nating kailangan tandaan, yung pinaka-definition ng polynomial function, powers of any term of a polynomial function must not be negative. So, hindi po dapat maging negative yung mga powers ng kada term ng given function. For example, f of x is equal to negative x cubed plus 5x raised to negative 2 plus 2x minus 3. So, anong mapapansin nyo sa given natin? It is not a polynomial function because there is a term which contains a negative power. So, yung power of any, powers of any term dapat ng given function, kailangan po, positive po. Eh, meron tayo ditong term, ito, 5x raised to negative 2, na yung power niya is negative, negative 2. Kaya, this is not a polynomial function. So, kahit isa man dyan, ay magkaroon ng negative na power, hindi na po yung considered as polynomial function. Next, powers of any terms of a polynomial function is neither a fraction nor a decimal. For example, so ayan, f of x is equal to 3x raised to 2 thirds plus 6x squared minus 7x minus 11. So ang ibig sabihin lang po ng number 2, kailangan po, hindi uh, maging fraction or decimal yung power ng kada term, ng bawat terms ng given function. Otherwise, hindi po yun considered as polynomial function. So, it is not a polynomial function because there is a term whose power is a fraction, not a whole number. So, yung tinutukoy ko na term na yan is yung unang term natin, yung leading term. So, 3x raised to 2 third. So, ayan yung power niya is 2 thirds and 2 thirds is a fraction kaya considered siya as non-polynomial functions next variables must not be placed on the denominator so lahat po ng variables yung mga literal coefficients must be written at the numerator hindi po dapat sa denominator sa ibaba kailangan po laging nasa itaas for example f of x is equal to 3 over x cubed minus 8 over x squared plus 1 over x plus 6. It is not a polynomial function because the literal coefficients, variable x, are written on the denominator. So kapag nire-write po kasi natin yung x cubed, magiging x raised to negative 3. At magkakaroon po siya ng negative na power. So which make the given as non-polynomial function. So, kailangan po lahat ng variable natin nasa numerator. And then lastly, variables must not be placed inside the radical symbol or act as a radican. For example, f of x is equal to 4x cubed plus 5x squared minus 2 square root of x plus 9. So, kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong term dyan na merong radical symbol. Okay. Na kung saan nakapaloob doon yung variable x. Ito po yung sinasabi ko. Ayan. So, yung variable x natin, nasa loob siya ng radical sign, radical symbol. And nag act siya as radican. So, kapag ganyan po, considered po siya as non-polynomial functions. So, dapat yung uh, numerical coefficient na 2 ang mag-act as radican. Yun ang dapat isusulat natin sa loob ng radical sign. And then yung variable dapat nasa labas. Next, yung last objective natin, standard form of polynomial functions. Terms of polynomial may be written in no particular order. So, pwede naman natin isulat yung mga terms ng polynomial kung paano natin sila gustong isulat. However, if terms of x are written in decreasing powers, we can say that the polynomial function is in standard form. So, kagaya na nga sabi ko kanina, pwede natin isulat yung mga terms ng polynomial sa kung anong paraan natin gustuhin. Pero, kapag tinanong tayo, hmm, yeah, uh, yung teacher natin, Sinabihan tayo na 
write the given function in standard form, kailangan yung mga terms ng x ng given natin ay in decreasing powers pababa. For example, ayan, write y is equal to negative 7x cubed minus 7x squared plus 16x to the fourth power minus 3x plus 8 in standard form. Nakasulat ba yan standard form? Hindi. It's because yung una natin 3 and then 2. 4 na naman ang kasunod ng 2. So, kailangan po, pababa po yung mga powers ng bawat terms. So, pwede natin yung i-arrange. Sulat natin y is equal to. So, i-identify natin sa mga terms ng given function kung alin ang pinaka mataas yung power. And that is 16x to the 4th power. Pinaka mataas yung power na 4. So, yun ang magsisilbing leading term. And then, yung kasunod ng 4 is 3 negative 7x cube. Okay. So, kapag may naka-attach na negative, kailangan po yung isama kapag inarrange po natin yung function, yung given. And then, after 3, negative 7x squared. And then, negative 3x plus 8. So, as you can see, ayan, yung ating given, yung mga terms niya, arranged in decreasing powers. 4, 3, 2, 1, and then 0. Then, from this given function, we can identify the leading term. So, yung leading term natin is 16x to the 4th power. And then, yung leading coefficient naman is 16. So, yung numerical coefficient ng leading term is 16. And then, Yung constant term, yung nasa hulihan. Usually, yung constant term kasi nakasulat sa hulihan. And that is 8. And then, yung degree of the polynomial function, ayun, pf. So, since yung leading term natin is 16x to the 4th power, yun yung pinakamataas na power sa lahat ng terms ng given function natin. So, yung degree niya is 4. So, hindi po siya classified as cubic ha. So, quartic po siya. Quartic polynomial function. So, after natin i-discuss yung introduction ng polynomial functions, so, in next video lesson natin, of course, we will be graphing polynomial functions. So, makikita nyo dyan kung paano ginagrap ang polynomial function, yung mga steps, and then yung mga important terms na kailangan yung tandaan. So, yun lang. Maraming salamat.